Hi Stampers, this is Nancy Novak. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I made a couple of cards this week using Stampin' Up's Party Pop-Up Thinlets. And this is one of the cards. And when you open it up, it pops up, Happy Birthday. And their other, the other thinlet that's in there is Hip Hip Hooray. So first thing I wanna do is talk about the pieces that we need. And then we'll get to making the card. So I used a card base in um, a color, that, whatever color you choose, and this is your normal 8.5 by 5.5, and, and it's scored at 4.5. For the inside piece, I make it a quarter of an inch smaller. So the inside is 8 and a quarter by 5 and a quarter, and it's scored at 4 and an eighth. And then for the front, I have a mat, uh, 5 and a quarter by 4. I have a piece of white that's five by three and three quarters. This one I ran through the festive uh, embossing folder. And then for the sentiment, I have a white piece that I'm going to stamp on that's three and a half by one and three quarter. I have a piece of Wisteria Wonder that's three and three quarter by two and a pair and a pair of piaz that's four by two and a quarter. So those are all the pieces and I'll have all the dimensions on my website after we're done. You can go there and look. So let's talk about the piece that we're going to put through the uh, Big Shot. So I scored this at four and an eighth. And whenever you uh, score, there's a mountain side and a valley side. It doesn't really matter, but when I, I find that I have the best luck when I use the pop-ups, when I have the mountain side facing up. And let me show you what I mean. I'll bring in my Big Shot. So here I have my platform, I have my precision plate, and I have my piece of cardstock that I've scored, and I have that little mountainside facing up. And when you use these dies, there's these little tiny arrows, and that's what you line up at the score mark. So there's my score mark right there, and I center it. So I have the arrow on the score line there, and the arrow on the score line there. And then we sandwich it in with our plate and we run it through the Big Shot. I'm not gonna run it through the Big Shot because it'll make the camera shake, but I have that already done. And so here it is. Uh, one thing I do wanna mention that's very, very helpful is to use the um, die brush. So when you get done, you have the die on here. And when you use your brush, it pushes out all those little pieces really nice. Doesn't You don't have to fight with it. So here we go. We've got our, our piece of uh, cardstock that we ran through. And you're going to loosen it up, loosen up the pieces. And then you're going to want to fold it a little bit wherever the natural fold is for the pop-up. And then we're going to fold it in half to close it. And that's all there is to it. So now we're gonna put it together. So here I have my piece of cardstock that's been scored in the center. And here's our inside piece. And we're gonna take our snail, and I do one side at a time. So what I'm gonna do is snail the edges. And I'm going to line up at the center and eyeball on the top and the bottom and give it a push. Okay, then we're going to snail this side. And close up our card. And there you have it. Isn't that cool? I just love it. So, okay, now we'll decorate the front. So, we'll bring in our pieces. So we just have to snail all of these together. Oops. I really like this festive embossing folder. It's cute. Use it for a lot of different things, a lot of different cards. Okay, then we're going to put these pieces together. And 
and I'm going to stamp on this piece. And my sentiment um, is called It's Your Day from Party with Cake. And I'm going to stamp it in with Stereo Wonder. This is a solid stamp when it's all done. So I want to make sure I have it inked up good. I'm going to center it here. I like to hold it in place for a second since it is a solid stamp. I want to make sure I have good coverage. There it is. Perfect. So now we'll snail this on here. And I think I'll pop this up with dimensions. going to decorate the inside of the card in a second. That's my favorite part. Aside from the, the fancy pop-up. Okay, so there we go. So this is going to go on the front of our card. It's pretty, huh? Okay. Let's snail this on. For the inside, let me bring in my other cards. I added a couple of balloons and I used the balloon bouquet punch, which is a, I love this thing. It's very versatile. Here's my other card inside. So what's cool about this punch is you can use it with designer series paper, any paper that has a pretty pattern, like that. So I can have dots or the little squigglies. And one other thing I want to show you real quick is I'm taking a piece of plain cardstock and this balloon punch has a coordinating stamp set called Balloon Celebration. So it has all these pretty little uh, sentiments in here with really pretty font and it has the different balloons. So I wanted to stamp a balloon really quick just to show you another way to use this balloon punch. So this is an outline stamp of a balloon. I'm just going to make the big balloon. So since I'm going to use the big balloon, it's over here. I'm going to stamp right here so I don't waste paper. So I'm going to stamp an outline. Okay, we could just use that if we want and punch that out. But there's also a little stamp that adds a little bit of stimp, uh, stipple, a little bit of the design to it, give it a little bit of dimension. And so I'll show you what that looks like. These are clear stamps, so it makes it real easy to see through and punch. There we go. So then, just slide that in there like that and give it a punch. And there you go. Isn't that cool? I just love this punch. Okay, now for our card, let's put the inside together. Bring it back in here. So I think what I'll do is I'll add... Uh, I'm not going to add dimensions to mine today. If you look, let's see, what did I do? On this one, I added dimensions and then I used the gold twine. And then on this one, I just laid them flat and then I just drew a line. I think that's what I'm going to do today. Um, so let me bring in my adhesive. Let's see. I'm trying to decide which balloons do I want. I think I'll use the green with a little zigzag showing. And the purple dots. So I'll do the opposite on the other side. That's cute. Love it. So remember, whenever I make a card or make a video, you can always go back to my website. And uh, I will have all the dimensions on my website. I'll have the picture of the card I made. I'll have all the supplies I have listed there. 
So it makes it real easy for you. If you want more information, you can go back to my blog and check it out. Um, I also have the supplies listed with clickable links, which means if you're interested in purchasing something, all you gotta do is click on the picture. It takes you right to the Stampin' Up! store. Safe, easy, and uh, so if you need anything, let me know. You can always email me. So what I'm doing now is I'm just gonna draw a line. I'm gonna use my Stampin' Up! right marker, uh, which has a thick side and a thin side, and I'm gonna use a thin side and just be creative here and draw my little balloon strings. That's it. We're done. Isn't that cute? I hope you like that. So let's see. We got this one. This is done in the new Stampin' Up! Uh, in colors. I just love these colors. And then with this one, I took the um, punch and instead of having it pop out, I cut it out and just put it on the face of the card. So there you go. I hope you like my video. If you do, please subscribe. Come back and see me again. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.